Welcome back to the Dad Skills Car Channel. Uh, today you find me back in the Peugeot Partner van, and we're going to change the filter that everyone forgets about, and that is cabin filter. Now I've not done this before in this van, and to change the filter you get two, because the aperture for the actual filter is to get the filter in and out is that big so you push one in drop it down and then push your push your next one in and you've got these little tabs that need to go the right way so you can pull them and push them so I've done a little bit of research online and seen where it is but it's awkward and it's not the easiest thing to film either so this should be interesting and it's hot as well uh, which doesn't help so I'm gonna get my old kneeling pad out I've got a sort of uh, kneel outside the van and then we'll have a look at what we need to do hopefully it shouldn't take too long but it is tricky to get to so let's take a look ah! right I've got my draper kneely thing out um, that's a very useful for my old knees uh, I'll link that in the description below so I've got a light in there hopefully that might help us so the first thing we need to take off is this whole piece of plastic here and that should just be clicked in and there might be some screwy in things under here maybe right, I'll set you up somewhere sensible yeah. what's the first interesting thing this little clip is in there like that you pull the middle out and that allows you then to pull the whole clip out so that's the one from over here how many more is there one at this side too. Again, yeah, right, okay. So there's another one there. What's the three of those clips? Here, there's all these clips, loads of those clips, so that's off. Now I've seen people take these off for easier access, and that looks like it has a clip there. Can you see that? Huh, there we go. That's not as difficult as people made it, but I think getting it out is the difficult bit, maybe. Yeah, there you go. That wasn't that difficult at all. That's the thing that puts hot air down onto your feet. So that's it, right. So about there, you see that black thing? That is what we need to get out. Again, simpler than I thought. And you can see from here that there is the meeting of the two filters. And I can't see the tab to grab hold of to pull it out. the first one. Well that is proper grot when you com compare it to the ones we're putting in. And that's got no tabs on it. Airflow. It's important to recognise which way that came out so you know which way it's going to go. Right, I'll get the other one out and we'll see where we are. So I've got the first one lined up to go in. I've got the airflow going the right way. So this needs to go in and then drop down, which it is doing already. That, so that I can get the next one in. Okay, so the second one is lined up and ready to push in. That doesn't really want to go. I'm going to have to try and reseat the first one, I think. So I took the second one back out again and I put something long in there and tapped it down so the first one was seated properly. 
So, there we go. Right, nice. Now we've got to get this black cover back on. I think it goes this way up. We'll find out in a moment. It's got this little tab there. It does go that way. Tab locates at the top. Push the bottom in. Very cool. Now, this thing. Yeah, it's a lot easier with this taken out, actually. Can we get a decent shot of it up there somewhere? Oh, there we go. Yeah, clips back in. Right, I'll get the other trim bits back on and show you. So I've got this bottom bit back in, that went in fine, there's sort of three little clips at the front it clips into, and this bit, it's a case of pushing all these clips back in. There's a couple of locators there to help you. That's that. Back with these things again, pull them out. And then once you get them in, you push that up. So let's do that. Perfect. Nice. Well, there we go. That wasn't half as bad as you think it's gonna be. They need to do it though, didn't they? I don't know how long they've been in there for. It's gotta be three years, at least I would've thought. Um, so that's a good job done. Don't be put off by the fiddliness. Um, it, it is straightforward, you just need to work your angles a bit when you're down there. So that's it from the Dad Skills Car Channel today. There's another video coming up next that YouTube have recommended to you, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Um, I'm also on Twitter now, uh, not Twitter. I'm also on TikTok now for my sins, so you can catch up with me there. Try and be nice, most people are, but some people aren't. And uh, I'll see you again really soon. Cheers.